now and welcome everybody to the wrestling mayhem show raw wrap up this evening for the this week uh as you can tell i'm not sorgatron uh he is actually there today that was in pittsburgh uh so i am the riz i i'm the one who is uh not there as you can tell because i have to uh babysit these two lunatics hey. uh first hey. Hey. i'm not a baby we resemble first, that remark first you heard <laughs> soundings of my co-host from insert coin to begin presents let's play, or boss battle sorry i almost went I'm host. full retro on that one uh host of boss <laughs> battle coast bobby fj town hi everybody how's it going we watched raw we watched wrestling and and we're still gonna watch raw yeah suck we, it mcfoley we don't have socks on our hands <laughs> Yes, and, very <laughs> eloquently. Bobby. And also, just for that, that Bobby, that, just for that, I'm going to give you props. Thank you. Give, give Thank whatever you. that means. Give Bobby props. props. And yeah. also with me. I still don't know what that means. It, it means you like what we are saying. Yes. And also with me, the voice of Inspire Pro Wrestling, the voice of sometimes the Wrestling Mayhem Show, and the voice of the Indie Mayhem Show, it is Eamon. I'm doing this now. That's crazy. I haven't been. I haven't been. You haven't one. been doing this. How, how long have you been off of these wrap up shows? Well, I've I've been, God, probably a good while. Um, uh, it's actually been a little while since I got to watch Raw with the rest of the, the Mayhem crew too. So this is nice. This is yeah. it's, it's, it, the, the the gang's back together. Or whatever people say, <laughs> I don't know. The, the, the what people? What? what? What you, you talk to other people besides us? Oh, I thought you were going to do the you people thing. I no, was like, no, that no, really no, fits no, into no, that. No. It's wrong. Anyways, anyways, uh, guys, I'm I'm, I'm not going to say the. I want your guys' opinion. What did you think of this raw? This in, in the raw in Pittsburgh today, tonight. I thought it was fun. I thought it was a fun raw. Mm -hmm. Um, not you know one of the best raws of the year, but it was good. It was good. There was there was there was something there. Oh. Eamon, where'd you go? Where did Eamon go? Did Eamon, did, oh, no. oh, no. Eamon left. Um, anyways, honestly, I, I thought this Raw was one of the better Raws I've seen. Yeah. It, 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 showcased, it showcased a lot. Like, a lot of different very, things. Very New Day heavy. <laughs> and and I, think I, heard, I think I heard somebody... I think it was one of the table of Japan or whoever they, they mentioned, let me, let me log in him. There he is. And, and they mentioned that this raw seemed like they were just throwing stuff at a wall and seeing if it sticks. And that's what you need to do now. When you're in panic mode, that's what like, you do. Right, right now <laughs> I, we had this discussion. There's, not that many stars on the roster right now. Mm -hmm. Agreed. So why not try to get some? Why not try to get some talent? Like try to get some, you know, backing from the fans. And it seems like it's working with, like, like we said, New Day uh, and other things happening there. It seemed like this raw was pretty good. Amen. Yeah, you got uh, cut I off. was gonna say. I did cut, get cut off. Uh, I was going to say I only caught the last two hours of Raw this week, uh, but I I thought they did a solid job. Uh, you can definitely tell they're taking things in a new direction, uh, and they're tr like like we mentioned, they're trying to do something different because of all that's befell them, I guess you could say. Um, but it seems I mean, there's stuff that does, isn't working, which we may get into, but uh, yeah. there seems to be stuff that's working pretty well. So the the first the let's start. Let's start back from. Let's start backwards for now. Mm -hmm. Let's start with the uh, main event of the evening. Uh, wh well, first it was the main event that was started by a main event in the first the first hour, which mm -hmm. was uh, Sheamus versus Reigns. You mean the Monday Night Football halftime main event? Yes, the, the <laughs> halftime show. Um, it was strange to see so many people there. Like I, I, we we've seen we've seen what John Cena and 
Shawn Michaels versus the entire roster, I believe, one time. Uh, but it just seemed weird to have Usos, Reigns, and Ambrose versus everybody. You mean the Isles like, Moa and Dean Ambrose versus the League of Nations? Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. That was, yeah, that was a thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I... I don't know if I necessarily like the uh, like like we mentioned the halftime uh, uh, match. Uh, I just didn't feel like it. It kind of served a purpose. It, it seemed out of place. I just like yeah. I, oh, good. Sorry, I was just gonna say I was telling Riz and Bobby when we were watching it. Like, it just seemed like something they booked to where like neither way they could win. Like, because if say Roman wins and and you know beats Sheamus and and. Maybe that's a cool thing to have a title, uh, title change on Raw, and then maybe that that could be a strategy to spike up ratings. But it kind of makes Sheamus look really weak. Mm-hmm. Um, and either that happens, or uh, as the stipulation was made, Dean Ambrose and the Usos lose their t- uh, title shots, and, and Roman Reigns loses his title shot. Um, but they kind of went with the whole GQ thing, which I don't th- think necessarily worked because it's like, it's like, why wouldn't it's Sheamus like, hey, just? Hey guys. Everything's back to normal. Can I just you get say, your title shot? You get your title shot. Vince McMahon is like the Oprah of wrestling right now. Can, can I just <laughs> can I just say my favorite thing of the night was making up uh, scenarios for Roman Reigns to save things. <laughs> like yeah, like, yeah it's if like Roman Reigns adding beat, on different things. If Roman Reigns beats Sheamus in five minutes and f- fifteen seconds, uh, Justin Timberlake will make more music. <laughs> Stuff like that. I thought that was fun. <laughs> and uh, we got a we got a we got a question f- directly to yes. at Eamon, by the way. We have a ke- so, we have a question. Yes. So uh, Kelly Kyle, fun. Kelly Kyle, one of our uh, Mayhem Show friends, uh, t- uh, messaged us. Did you hate the old an old person talking about Tommy Dreamer was on the show when it could have been a young person, a baby tagging with the Dudleys. <laughs> By the way, just as to answer that question, how amazing would it be if an actual like baby was the most? That was Paul Dempsey and his baby gimmick from the Indies. Oh, that'd be that'd be amazing. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, you could tell that that Big Daddy Dudley is still you know uh, big, getting no, people knocked out. Big Where Dick Dudley. Where did it, it, Spike out? No, well, no, no. Big Dick Dudley was a product of Big Daddy Dudley. Right? I guess he was. <laughs> Anyways, but anyways, got, going, all right, off, all right, all right. going off of that, going in, off of that, in a, Tommy Dreamer in a smarky, a in a smarky, unsmarky way. What did you think about that match? What do you think about that surprise return of that Tommy Dreamer? Cool. I liked it. Eamon um, was, the, was the one who had the question directed to him. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, uh, that's I fine. really wanted. Uh, I, I, I actually, love actually, it. Bobby. Actually, Ka- Kelly, I was going to ask him that same question. Um, I thought it was cool. I, I don't. It is another thing that was a little bit weird. The only thing I found really weird about it was that they already put Bray Wyatt through a table, technically. So it's yeah. like the big, like, like the big thing this feud should lead to, like, like, like Bray Wyatt is the Dixie Carter of the storyline. <laughs> you know what I mean? Technically. Mm-hmm. Um, so he, and they kind of already did the thing, um, which is weird. Um, oh, go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no, that that's all I have to say. Right, Bobby, what you, sorry, I, I cut you off. I'm Am sorry. Am I allowed to answer now? No. <laughs> I like no, not. Not, I like not unless the question's directed to you. <laughs> I, I liked it. I thought I thought it was cool. Um I'm a little surprised they only added one more person. Uh but maybe they're saving somebody in their pocket, like maybe an R V D or Rhino or Spike. Spike. Or, or they're gonna sober up Sandman. Or, <laughs> no, no. Or New uh, Jack. Sandman. Sandman. <laughs> <laughs> New Jack just busts out of the crowd and just starts forking people in the head. I'm not mistaken. Sandman's in a lot of trouble. Oh, but, well, he was in a lot. Of trouble. Aren't they all? Um, are they, they going to hire Hanma? Oh no. Oh, uh, Tony O. <laughs> Tony O. Just just uh, pointed out EV 3.0. Oh man, that would not be good. Gross. Anyways, yeah, yeah. The the, the there was a surprise. Uh, we all we all groaned at the thought of. Spike Dudley coming out, wondering. <laughs> well, we, we we were more ex- we were more excited for Tommy Dreamer coming out, right? I want him to bring Molly back. Yeah, 
Anyways, uh, how about the divas tonight? <laughs> and and also Molly Holly. Molly Holly. Oh, yeah, right. that's right. Yeah, also Molly, Molly. Molly. I'm at the drug. And Ivory <laughs> and you yeah. know everybody else. Bobby, that was a great segue, by the way, because now we're going to talk about divas. We're going to talk about Ivory. No, divas. We're going to oh. we're going to talk um, about the the thing that made that, about, that made all the I internet. Could talk upset. about Ivory for at least thirty seconds. So, so we had a little, we had another little rift in the uh, space time continuum of the PCB, aka submission sorority. Uh, what are you guys' thoughts on the uh, dirtiest diva in the game coming out? I like it. Yes, I were confused. Uh, I yes, I thought it made. It, I, I really liked it, and I was really very happy when I saw it. And then I got on Twitter, and everyone on my Twitter stream hated it. Apparently, um, but whatever, people are gonna hate stuff. Gonna, uh, I think it's hate, people are gonna like it, bitch about it, but they, they've been trying I to look for I, something for years, and now they're now they have something, and they're angry about it. It caused that little. Bit of I think they, they needed. It. Also, I think like the fact that I think this is a rare case of WWE actually taking audience reactions and listening to them a bit. Mm -hmm. um, I, I as much as I sometimes disagree with them. Like, here's the thing: they had Paige like bring up the fact that like re or, or, or like instigate a fight with Charlotte by saying that Ree Flair you know gave up when he mm -hmm. when he died or whatever. And at Survivor Series, the crowd was still still cheering for Paige, like. <laughs> That says something. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's very smart to turn Charlotte heel. Heel. Uh, I thought she was great as a heel in NXT. I really loved her heel work in NXT. Um, it's a naturally from her dad, you know. Exactly, and and um, the, it's a built-in story that she, you know, she's a flair. She's naturally going to be, you know, deceitful. Yeah. I liked the backstage promo where they kind of played up that Charlotte was just trying to make Becky stronger in a sense that mm -hmm. you know. I, I think it helped Becky a lot too. Yeah. I think it. I think a lot of people complain. One of the complaints from this whole Theo's Revolution thing is that Becky Lynch felt like an afterthought, and yeah. now she's got a character, and now she's got a story. Yeah, like she's not just a steampunk chick with a uh, with cool goggles and tonight. and talks to puns all the time. And I also, love I love her puns now. We we had a uh, two divas matches, guys. We did. And it looks like there's some story between both of them. Kind of. Because they're trying to make a story between the Bellas and Team Bad. Which is pretty cool because ever notice that the, the, the faces are breaking up, but the heel teams are sticking together? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because why is that, Riz? I, I what, what, is, what does Team Bad have that the other teams uh, uh, don't I'm have? I'm do that. No, I'm not gonna. Do that. <laughs> no, we're I'm not, not gonna, gonna do. That. I'm not gonna say unity in a song like like uh, Rick James. That's not what I'm gonna do. I'm that's, not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. That's the worst thing from Raw tonight. I thought. No, I really didn't like that I, little promo. Oh, 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 that was the Bobby. That was the worst thing from Raw tonight. Are we gonna talk about the Rose Bush? Oh, you mean the yeah the, uh, the, the Tim and Eric directed part of Raw is yeah. uh, <laughs> on the uh, uh, We Watch Wrestling podcast board. They tried. They, they're trying. They're, they're trying with. They're trying with uh, Adam Rose so much. Mm -hmm. by, and by trying, by trying, they may give him bad news. Barrett's old gimmick. And they took. They took his tag team partner <laughs> away from him this weekend. Okay. 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 Before we go on with this one, uh, in the chat, Bobby, can you dress as Sasha Banks for Halloween next year? I'm gonna snatch that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that, that that was that was some gold right there, Kelly. Um, you want me to do the whole entrance and everything too. You've done it before, Bobby. But no, Bobby, I did the AJ did, entrance. Did you did the AJ entrance. Before. I did the AJ entrance. Anyways, uh, I also we are... did the Alberto Del Rio entrance. Yeah. Anyways, we're 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 we're, we're, uh, we're getting sidetracked here. Uh, I already forgot what we're talking about. Oh, the rose bush. The rose bush. Uh, yeah. Remember when we were talking about the the thing like. The, throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks. This one bounced back and hit Adam Rose in the face. <laughs> Real bad. Mm -hmm. 
we will not do we will not add Mad Mike for for a uh, four horse woman uh, stable. A shirt. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, he would make a damn good Bailey. He does have a Bailey shirt. He does have a Bailey shirt. Mm-hmm. So that that is in the that is in the running for a group costume. I'd we're be gonna proud. Win. I'd be proud to be Sasha. By the way, we're gonna win that costume contest yeah, this year, yeah. guys. We got this. Um, Question in the chat room oh. for myself. Uh, Eamon, are you mad at an old person is getting pushed at a rose when they could be pushing somebody younger, a deadly baby? <laughs> deadly baby. <laughs> we had – we actually, uh, we had oh some – we had this similar conversation during the main event. Yeah. We, well, not, not the deadly baby and Adam Rose. We had more of a – like w- w- what I said in the beginning where – they're trying well, to get new stars when they don't yeah. have any right now. So, By the way, it, well, we were it, 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 Owens tonight. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Bobby brought up that we I didn't realize. I don't know if he's hurt. Maybe anyone has seen him. He needs to be in the League of Nations. He's French and Canadian. Well, I don't. It's two nations. Here's, here's and the two, thing. I don't think they want to go that angle with him though. Practice France. I don't. I don't think yeah. they want to try for that. You know, oh, he's French Canadian, so he's evil, yeah. or type thing. He he. They want to build with him. But they they want to build they, something they, with him. They released the red, white, and blue shirt for him. They did. Well, that was because of, no, they released that special edition Montreal shirt when he when they were in Montreal. Yeah. That's right. Anyways, we, we we can talk about this all day, guys. Yeah. Uh, so, is there anything we missed? Anything you guys want to talk about that we haven't? Uh, Rusev and Lana. Rusev and Lana back together again. Yeah. Uh, Whoopie did. Cesaro it still amazes me that he proposed to Lana wearing nothing but Rusev. shorts. You mean Rusev? Whatever his name is. I was just looking in the chat room. Uh, is Cesaro the League of Evil Nations secret weapon? No, he's hurt. <laughs> Do you have anything else you want to talk about, or have we covered everything? Um, I think we did. Oh, I want to say, like, 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 I think Bobby mentioned this before. There was a lot of new day today. Yeah, there was. And I, I am not at the least. We <laughs> we had we had a new day opening the show. We had a new day promo. We and had a new promo. day. We had a new day shop commercial. We had yeah. a new day commentary during the tag team match. It was. We found out that we found out that Biggie is our daddy and our uncle. <laughs> and if you watch up, up, down, down, you'd know that. The 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 uh, the family tree is only one branch. <clears throat> Figure that one out. Uh, anyways, guys, we can't. I just found out we can't end the show unless Roman Reigns wins. Uh, against Sheamus in five minutes and fifteen seconds, you can't beat him. Oh, he won, and we have, he, to, stay he won. On. We have he, to stay on the air. He won. He he won. He won. Yay! Uh, so, Bobby, yes. where can they find you at, sir? Uh, you can find me at Bobby FJ Town. Uh, you can find me live every Tuesday night at eight on live. dot dot com, hosting a little <laughs> podcast called Boss Battle. Oh, that's nice. What do you do on Boss Battle, Bobby? Uh, I host it, uh-huh. and I bring some funny things sometimes, I think. Wh- 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 what do you talk about on Boss Battle, Bobby? Video games! Yay! We talk about um, uh, Golden Corral. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> and Amen. <Golden> Fights. <laughs> Amen. That was two weeks ago, by the way. Amen. <laughs> yes, Rez. Where can they find you at? I, I don't know where my mic is on here, but uh, they can find me uh, on Twitter... <laughs> That would be kind of weird. That's fine. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Amen Two, please. You can also check out a little company I'm a part of called Inspire Pro Wrestling at InspireProWrestling dot com. Uh, there's no Golden Corral nearby, but we'll, that's a good thing. Maybe we'll have a Golden Corral themed show. Who knows? We'll, we'll no, you, don't, you don't want the Golden Corral. Pornhub is the uh, Golden Corral of adult entertainment. The mm-hmm. first this is- Inspire. If if I have it my way, Inspire Pro Wrestling will be the home of the first ever Chocolate Wonderfall match. Ooh, Chocolate Wonderfall match. I, Eamon, if you if you make that match, I will walk 
to Texas and watch it. <laughs> I thought I thought you said I would walk. I would walk out of this podcast <laughs> forever. <laughs> But you can't do that. I will walk out of this podcast. Beat Seamus in five minutes. In Texas and watch it. Oh, oh, real quick. Uh, mm-hmm. What do you guys think of the the uh, Seamus five fifteen? Are you for? Oh yeah, I, yeah. I like yeah. It. I like, I'm, I'm for it for now. I like it. I think it works. Mm-hmm. And you can find me also at uh, insertcoinweekend.com, where where I talk about video games with Mr. Bobby F J Town on Boss Battle, and. Sometimes maybe I'll be on there more on the Wrestling Mayhem show. I'll actually be there in two weeks. Wait, two weeks? No. Two, three weeks. Two three weeks. weeks. Three, three weeks. weeks. Three weeks for their Mayhem Christmas show. Yeah. Hmm. And I believe that's a special day for them as well. That'd be because good it's an even number day. Is it 500? 500? Five, 500, yes. 500 episodes of the Wrestling Mayhem Show coming up. Wow, wow, we wow. Wow, we wow. Wow, we wow. Anyways, you, wow, wow, wow. you can actually follow all of us on the Twitters at uh, Mayhem Show. Mm-hmm. And, follow, follow, and like us on the uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group. Uh, we have a lot of fun conversations on there. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. And uh, John Cena to you, uh, uh at Toad Salsa, Toad Salsa. I, I yeah. And and with that, we'll see you guys later. Keep it tight. Mayhem out. Keep it tight. I'm just gonna steal everybody's catch. Keep it tight. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>